Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for all the support. So a report came out that the Miami Heat now will pursue players in the buyout market with John Wall, Russell Westbrook, and Reggie Jackson, and Patrick Beverly among those expected to be available. First of all, this team is a disgrace. This front office is a disgrace. Why on earth are we going around looking in the trash? In the buyout market for John Wall, Russell Westbrook, Reggie Jackson, and Patrick Beverly. Why would I want Patrick Beverly on this team? He can't score. Why would I want John? This team has so many guards already. I don't understand. So let's break this down. Okay. So first they sign Kyle Lowry. He has been an utter disgrace to this basketball team. This man has averaged seven points in the month of January. Now he has a knee injury. This guy has been ending games with two and three and four points. Okay, now they signed Duncan Robinson to a ninety million dollar contract for five years, all because he had a maybe what a, like a year and a half of good basketball. I can't remember the last time that Duncan Robinson even hit a three point shot. I don't understand this foolishness that's going on with this team. At the end of the day. I really don't know where they're trying to go, because this is my thing. Why are we trying to be competitive? OK, and then at the same time, we don't make the moves to get better. Then we give away Dwayne Dedman with a second round pick. They told us the reason why they signed Dwayne Dedman to that contract is so that they can package him up in a deal. We didn't even do that. You know, I think that this heat, this heat organization has let down the heat fans. They've let down Jimmy Butler to some extent. You know, Jimmy Butler is in his prime right now. You know, we're wasting away all of his prime years. So I really don't know where this team, ha like, where are they trying to go? Because the thing is, if you're just going to be a decent team, when you're in the NBA, you have to figure out, okay, which direction are we going to be headed? Are we going to be headed in the Bam and Hero direction? Or are we going to sell all of our assets and go to the Jimmy Butler uh, direction? Now, I will say, and I made this in my other video the other day, I knew that something similar to this was going to happen only because I think that they're going to wait till the offseason. Mickey Arison, he's crying broke. He's saying he don't have no money. He doesn't want to pay the luxury tax. And to be honest, Mickey has been saying this since the beginning of the season that he did not want to pay the luxury tax. So that should have already let us know that, listen, we're not going to get no major deal because at the end of the day, who is going to want Duncan Robinson? Who? Who is going to want Kyle Lowry? Who's going to want Max Struess? Who's going to want Gabe Vincent? Why would I want those guys when I can go get real NBA players who actually know how to play basketball? You know what I'm saying? There's so many other better. There's a bunch of better players throughout the league than Max Shrews, Duncan Robinson, old Kyle Lowry, and Gabe Vincent. Nobody is. That's not worth anything in the NBA. And it's the Miami Heat's fault. And I'm not saying that undrafted guys should not be in the NBA, but I don't understand. Why on earth does this Miami Heat team have eight undrafted guys on this roster? We have more undrafted guys than drafted guys on the roster. And then the guys that are drafted, they don't play. So there's a lot of questions that I'm having, bro, you know, because they used to call Pat the godfather, this, that, and the third. You know, Mickey's all about championships and all about winning. It ain't looking like it. And like I said, I know that Jimmy Butler is to blame because he's the one that, that wanted to keep Kyle Lowry on this team. And once again, I have so much smoke for Jimmy Butler right now because at the end of the day, man, I want this Miami Heat to win just like everybody else. And I just think that it's unacceptable some of the moves that this Miami Heat team are make that this Miami Heat team is making because, first of all, I think that we're great with player development, but then at the same time, this team does not know how to use their assets. They're giving picks up. They're um signing these guys to bad contracts. We have too many bad contracts on this team, and we have players that are one-dimensional and not good at all. Max Struess has forgotten how to shoot. Doug Robinson, he's forgotten how to shoot. Gabe Benson, he's undersized. Kyle Lowry, he's an utter disgrace. Like there's, We have no tradable assets, and all of our money is hung up in Jimmy, Tyler, Bam, and Kyle. So at the end of the day, I don't know where this Miami Heat team is headed, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.